So just another quick video about Virtual GTA 2024. And actually it's more about the previous versions because the news is you can't really get those anymore. At least not from the website. Because if you go into the website and you go into download, you of course get the latest public version. That makes sense, right? Because that's, that's the latest public version. But then uh, you can go into support and you can go into knowledge database and then you can go into download previous builds. And then usually there's a long list here you can download from, but that's not so long anymore. There's only five to choose from, three public versions and a couple of early access builds. So what's that? Well, let's look at the change log. And then we can see that the, latest, uh, the first one you can get now is this one, a build 81, 84. That's the oldest one. Uh, so not even the 20, original 2024 one, which is from back in April here, which is GTA 2024. Uh, build 8055, and certainly not the uh, uh, Virtual GTA 2023, which 7921 was the final Virtual GTA 2023, right? Uh, and of course, further back, you can't get those anymore, at least not from here. Um, so, what's so special about this one, 8184, the, the, the oldest one they let you get now? That's uh, the new Cloud Drive engine. So, originally, uh, the cloud drive engine they built were too slow for large databases because I think they assumed that people just use it for, for some, uh, for, for some lists or some playlists. Basically, have those, uh, those synchronized across platforms. But uh, people just started throwing their entire collections in here. So then I needed to build a better cloud drive implementation. So they did, and now they don't want to deal with the old stuff anymore. So, uh, so this is basically version two of Cloud Drive that you're getting, and you can't get version one of Cloud Drive anymore. Uh, that's probably fine, but the thing that people will miss the most is, well, I'm still on Virtual GTA 2023, I can't download it. No, you can't. You can, of course, install it if you still have a, an old downloaded install installer from Virtual GTA, but you can't go get it here anymore. And is that a problem? Well, some might think so. But why are they doing it? Well, the official the official thing is this thing is it's for security purposes. There's tons of uh, of, of sub libraries included in Virtual DJ, and of course uh, those get patches sometimes, and uh, they they should always be applied because there may be security patches. Uh, so to keep uh, uh, all these old builds alive, there's a lot of work. Uh, uh, that's the official uh, statement. Could also be because they want us to use Virtual DJ twenty twenty four more. I'm not sure. I'm not going to judge or guess about that. Well, the thing is, you cannot get anything older than build 81, 84 anymore. So Atomic is all in on Virtual DJ 2024 now. So is that a problem? Well, maybe um, for some people, but I think they've implemented so much stuff now in Virtual DJ 2024, that's not really a problem anymore. So if you look at it, for instance, uh, of course, the main new feature was the cloud drive, but if you don't use it, it's just there. It doesn't disturb, it doesn't do anything. So that's probably fine. Another main feature was that you had uh, some ads over here instead of this, uh, uh, of, this, uh, of this folder thing now. But that doesn't really matter. And then the biggest new thing was, of course, that all the lists changed. So now we have lists and we used to have playlists and virtual folders. Now we just have lists. Uh, and they acted a little different because they needed to boot both. But now, when we uh, look at it now, I'll just pick a random one, right click it, and you look at it with the, the implementation of new uh, node duplicates and keep order and disable hot plug. Um, and I don't think we really need uh, the old ones anymore because now this can basically do anything the old virtual folders did. So, and of course you can actually do settings on them. So let's just look them up. So if I go into settings here and I click disable, you can see I have a disable hot plug for new lists. That means that disabling that, you don't have to do that every time you build a new list. You can set it to do it by default and you can, for new lists, and you can disable duplicates for new list, decide what that should be by default. So now you can basically do everything that old virtual folders could do. So I don't think you'll miss so much anymore. Then of course, the, the old playlists, which were really the very old M3U files format. And that has also been uh, helped with, if you will, uh, because you can now set it up to, uh, to, to build them. And uh, you have been able to do that since I don't think it's the third or fourth build of Virtual DJ 2024. So uh, there's a lot of help you can get from those. 
So if you look up M3U files here, you can see uh, you can get them shown. So you can just use them like before. So you can just use them over here. They'll just show up and act like folders if you enable that. And you can uh, set them to auto export them. I'll get back to that in a second. And you can uh, get them to show as playlists. So if I here and I uh, click yes to that, I get this thing. M3U playlist. I'll just disable it again so you can see it arriving. Here it is. And that's all my old ones. So uh, you can get that too now. But of course, uh, that's just copies. So that's pretty nice. So you have uh, the backward copyability. But maybe the most important one that they did to support all the uh, uh, old uh, software that didn't know the new, no third party software that didn't know the new uh, lists yet is probably this one. So if you enable that, that I have it done here, then you can, like it says, you can uh, look uh, in your app data, virtual DJ playlists to see them. That's not actually not entirely true because uh, that's the new place for the home folder. But if the, your home folder is in another location, that's where you want to look. So for instance, my home folder is the original location. So if I go back here to get this little cogwheel, click that, and then I go into playlists. Uh, when this is enabled, I'll get those in here. So let me just try uh, closing that again, building a new uh, playlist over here. So I'm just going to my lists and add lists. Random name, m u in it. Right here it is. I just go get some music. Put into it, so like that. Um, so now uh, that's put in my my list, uh, and that also means that if I go back into here, go into playlists, there's now a test M3U for me M3U, and that's actually right now set up to play in Winamp. So if I double click this. it'll uh, open this playlist that it has automatically built. Uh, so that's an M3U playlist, which is actually a copy of uh, my, uh, my, my my virtual DJ list, right? So you can still get these uh, old school uh, M3U playlists created for you if you like. So I don't think it's that big of a problem anymore that we can't get uh, back to before Virtual DJ 2024. But I just uh, thought I would mention that that has now all gone. Uh, Atomics is all in on Virtual DJ 2024 now. So I guess we might as well get with the program for people who haven't yet upgraded.